This lesson is going to be on that song, Freight Train, and it's also going to be on how to kind of arrange this for a performance. So this is the chord progression to the song Freight Train. It's 16 measures long, it's two measures of C, two measures of G7, two more measures of G7, back to C for two measures. Then the second half is E for two measures, F for two measures, C for one measure, G7 for one measure, and then C for two measures at the end to bring us back to the beginning. Now, the arrangement that I'm going to do for this is loosely how I might do it if I was going to be performing this song, um, but I'm just going to do it four straight different ways to uh, give you the idea. The first way is going to be just to strum the simple chord and sing. Unfortunately, you're gonna to have to hear me sing, I apologize. Um, secondly, I'm going to Travis pick a pattern, standard Travis picking pattern. And there are lessons that I have on, on that pattern. I'm going to play through these chord progressions, through this chord progression using that pattern. Then I'm going to Travis pick the melody for the solo. And then I'm going to strum with my bass strum, bass note, and then, and then strumming with my fingers uh, for the last verse. So the train, if you will, is kind of picking up momentum as we go along. So I'll play through it and then we'll discuss it a little bit more at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to play these chords one time for each chord as at the beginning. It's going to sound like this. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Please don't tell them what train I'm on, so they won't know what route I've gone. When I'm dead and in my grave No more good times here I pray Place a stone in my head and feet And tell them that I've gone to sleep Freight train, freight train, you run so fast. Freight train, freight train, you run so fast. Please don't tell them what train I'm on. They won't know which route I've gone. They won't know which route I've gone. So, here's the idea here. I think it was pretty clear how to play that first time through. I'm just playing the chords. I'm gonna move a little bit closer. You can see my fingers a little bit better. I just played the chords C, G7, back to C, and then E, regular open E. If you don't know these chords, you should work on them. F, the barred chord. A lot of times I'll use my thumb when I'm when I'm picking to get that low note. And then C, G7, C. Then I started Travis picking the pattern. So not the melody, but the pattern. And the pattern was one, two, and three, and four. Now we've covered, I've covered that in uh, other videos. There's one called um, Travis Picking Slow on E Minor. Um, that's the pattern that I'm doing. And when I'm on C, my thumb is on the uh, fifth and fourth string. And then when I go to G, I'm on uh, six and four. And then when I go to the E chord, I'm on six and four. And then F, same thing, same exact right hand pattern. And then C, back to the fifth string. G, seven, C. So 
I'll run through that real quick. I'll sing it while I do it. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Please don't tell them what train I'm on, so they won't know what route. Then comes the solo uh, guitar part with the Travis picking. Now, because this lesson's already getting a little long, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll post a second video that has the Travis picking melody part, okay? So I'll skip that part now and just go to the last verse where I'm just strumming and I'm strumming a bass note and then using my fingers to strum down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's one, two, three, and four, and three, and four, and four. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. They won't know what route I've gone. All right, and that gets us through the whole arrangement. Now, I might stretch it out a little bit more um, and sing a couple extra verses, but that really uh, takes someone listening to it on the journey, you know? So you're not playing the same thing the whole song, the same strumming pattern, or the same Travis picking pattern the whole time. You can, as a solo guitar player, you can stretch it out. That also works if you're playing with another guitar player. So I will post, uh, maybe later this week, uh, I will post a uh, Travis picking lesson on the melody for everyone, and I'll have tabs for that one. All right? Thank you. See you all later.